Hi fellow reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. Today I'm going to bring a short video in reference to the cycling of this tank. Uh, I've done a couple of videos on it and I explained, you know, like the outcome uh, using API, although I use Sally for test kits, but for the purposes of cycling the tank, there's nothing wrong with these test kits. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of uh, public aquariums and reefers expert on uh, reefing and they have used API for a long, long uh, time. And I'm using them for the purpose, like I said before, of cycling the tank. But I thought I'd bring something to your attention, something that was uh, brought up to me. I went ahead and I cycled the uh, tank, everything went well. Uh, actually, I, I got a reading of zero nitrites after about like five weeks. As you notice now, the ammonia is a little spiked and the nitrites show a little level. I'll tell you why, what actually happened. And then the nitrites are cherry red there at uh, 100 parts. Actually, it goes down to 50. Okay, when I went ahead and I uh, did the cycling and it was already completed, what they recommend as uh, I'll, I'll do a little refresher. As you know, uh, the nitrogen cycle is a process of, of three uh, situations, three things going at the same time. First, of course, the ammonia is going to spike because as I mentioned before, uh, you have to feed it with ammonia because the nitrites feed from ammonia. And as I said before, there's different ways. I happen to use Dr. Tim's ammonia chloride, which is a fishless way of doing it. What they call either, uh, well, what they call uh, ghost feeding. Uh, there was other ways that you can do it. This, of course, this is like a refresher. There's uh, another way of doing it where you either put uh, flake food or, or you uh, put a piece of dead shrimp and you change it every three days to spike the ammonia and then your nitrites are going to go up to feed, you know, the nitrites. Now, uh, what happened in this situation, of course, I'm using uh, Dr. Tim's ammonia chloride. Uh, when it was cycled, I went ahead and I did a water change. But I noticed that my nitrates won't go down. I did another water change. I've done three water changes to find out uh, that my nitrates are set at 50 parts. I asked myself, why? Well, I mean, I did research. I went back and forth. I called a couple of places. And the result is that uh, since when I started the uh, tank, although this... Um, this sand was live sand, but it took a couple of months and I actually did a video on rinsing uh, the uh, sand. Uh, how to rinse it so you don't get the cloudiness of the water when you start the cycling process. Of course, the, the bacteria was no longer live, it was dead. So it was like dead sand, it, it wasn't live sand. So because of that and because I'm using kind of rocks, which are completely dead, they were live one time, but they're dead then what happens is that when you do the nitrogen cycle in this type of scenario your nitrates uh, are going to take a little longer to uh, start going down uh, because what's happening here in this uh, type of scenario is the bacteria really hasn't colonized yet on the pucani rocks it hasn't so what happens is that uh, no matter how many water change you do those nitrates are not going to go down because the, the nitrogen exchange hasn't occurred yet on this tank. So what you do to remedy that is you, you, you still add uh, ammonia chloride in my case, but don't add it daily or what is um, instructed to do to keep a, a 2.0 parts per million of ammonia uh, daily. You don't do that. What you do simply is you add a little ammonia like uh, every other day to keep the colonization of the bacteria, which I happen to be using uh, Brightwell's My, uh, Microvactor 7. Which, what you do is you keep adding ammonia, but just a little bit, just to, to keep your, your um, bacteria live. And you keep doing that, like let's say like uh, every other day. And then when you notice that the nitrates start to go down, 
to go not complete it, it's never going to be zero because the end product is your nitrates so you, you have to bring them down of course by doing water changes so what do you do is when you see that it starts to go down below uh, what I'm getting a reading of after three water changes of 50 parts per million then that's when you do that famous water change and then it should go completely down and then that's when you can start to add your first fish or start adding corals slowly uh, one at a time remember in this hobby patience you have to have a lot of patience to get excellent results so I thought I uh, bring this video up because uh, if it happens to somebody else and you might say well, wait a minute my tank is cycled but my nitrates are high okay I noted to bring it down your nitrates you have to do water changes you do a water change and it continues and you do another one another one and it's set at a specific amount and it won't go down enough it's be because of that it's because the colonization of the bacteria of the bacteria hasn't colonized yet on, on the dry rocks so you don't have what's called the, the the nitrogen exchange if you don't have that it's not safe to add any fish or coral because uh, the water is actually toxin and it'll kill it so that's what I thought I'd bring up in this short video uh, just in case it happens to somebody uh, out there and uh, I hope I did clear up the issue of why your nitrates will not go down if you keep doing water changes although it will show that it's cycled and that's because of that issue that the bacteria has not colonized on the dry rocks yet so I thought I'd bring that up I hope you liked the video if you did hit the thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to my channel and next to it there's a little bell that's to uh, activate the notification process if you your notification is enabled in your device and like I say at the end of all my videos happy reefing thank you very much bye bye